Hi everyone. We all are familiar with the famous tech giant Amazon. Getting a job at Amazon is a dream for many engineering graduates. But do you know about the technical designations or hierarchy? In this vlog, you will know about the technical hierarchy and the roles, responsibilities, salary of each designation. Let's begin with a short intro to the company. Amazon is an American multinational company that focuses mainly on e-commerce, cloud computing, digital streaming, and also space research. It is the world's most valuable brand. As of March 2022, the company employed more than 1,622,000 members. So coming to the crux, that is the organizational structure, Amazon uses a band or grade system to classify their employees and the technical designations are covered under bands L4 to L10. Let's explore them one by one. Band L4 or Software Development Engineer 1. STE1 refers to the junior level software development engineer. They are mostly inexperienced or fresh graduates. As a junior engineer, you will learn the basic industrial practices and get experience in the domain you are hired for. You will do simple and basic tasks that will assist the other senior engineers at first and then you will be given tasks and training according to your skill. Usually one will get a promotion after one or two years and the average salary is $160,000 to $170,000. The next band is L5 or Software Development Engineer 2. SDE2 is a software engineer with few years of experience. An SDE will perform various important tasks of the project or product development as per the guidance of SDE3. There is a chance for you to get directly hired as SDE2 if you have previous experience in the related industry. And the average annual salary is $220,000 to $230,000. The next step in the ladder is band L6 or Software Development Engineer 3. SDE3 is a very experienced software engineer. He or she will be involved in one or two major projects. You will be promoted as SDE3 after five or seven years of experience in Amazon if you started from L4. SDE3 is a senior level software engineer who has a lot of responsibilities and duties and it is the highest position that you obtain through promotion on the basis of experience. After this skills play a major role than experience. The average annual salary is $320,000 to $330,000. Next comes band L7 or principal SDE. It is an equal rank to the team lead or project lead. A principal SDE is an advanced level engineer who will have at least 10 to 15 years of experience in the industry and have at least a few white papers published. Becoming a principal SDE is hard that only 10% of the Amazon employees have become principal SDE. The average salary is $640,000 to $650,000. Further, only 1% of the Amazon technical force reaches band L8 or Senior Principal SDE. It is very hard to be promoted as a Senior Principal SDE, so most of the engineers choose people management or other corporate positions after principal SDE positions. A senior principal SDE is valued equal to program manager or group project manager. And the average annual salary is $770,000 or even more. The next role is a supreme authority in the technical chain command called as Distinguished Engineer or Band L10. It's very rare to become a distinguished engineer in Amazon as only a dozen of engineers have become distinguished engineers. And to become one, you should have created any famous products or instrumental things like AWS or Kindle. 
In short, you should be an individual contributor to becoming a distinguished engineer. And the average annual salary is $950,000 to $970,000. So this is how the complete hierarchy system looks like in Amazon. Please note that the organizational structure explained here is based on the best of our knowledge and understanding. However, there can be variations and changes with the changing dynamics in a company with time. If you are preparing for your next job interview or joining Amazon in a short while, then all the best wishes. I hope you must have gone through the other vlogs in the series. Many more are coming soon. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to keep yourself updated with the upcoming videos.